There is the so-called string of pearls, the Shoemaker-Levy 9 cometary debris chain. Now this started out as a single cometary nucleus. But what happened is it came too close to Jupiter. Do you understand the concept of the Roche limit? Okay, the Roche limit is simply a zone within which a cometary nucleus or any bound together object, an aggregated object, where its internal cohesion is overcome by the external gravitational field. So there's a Roche limit around Jupiter where the tidal forces will disaggregate that coherent object, right? Where exactly is the Roche limit? Well, that's going to vary depending on the nature of the object in question. If it's a lower density object that's loosely aggregated, then clearly the Roche limit's going to be farther out for that object. If it's a tightly bound single object, like a, a metallic asteroid, well, then it's clearly not going to be torn apart as readily. But the idea is that if an object passes within that Roche limit, the tidal forces are going to rip it apart. And that's exactly what happened with Shoemaker-Levy 9.